The Jet Ice Paint Stick. Lightweight, easy to use, efficient. The Jet Ice Paint Stick is the magic wand ice technicians have been asking for. This amazing product was designed to allow one technician to accurately apply lines and circles on an ice surface and offered the flexibility to adjust the liquid paint flow. Best of all, it allows the technician to stand upright during the application process. Let's find out more about the paint stick exclusively from Jet Ice. The Jet Ice paint stick will be utilized once the facility has installed the initial ice layer, painted and sealed the white, and completed the layout of all game markings such as hockey and ringette. Once the white surface has been properly sealed with several fine sprays of water, the next step is to mix the required jet ice paints for all markings, including lines, face-off dots, circles, and creases. When using the paint stick for red line and blue line painting, water must be added to each pail to ensure proper paint flow through the paint stick. For red line paint, simply pour the paint from the supplied container into another container used for mixing. Take the empty paint can and fill it three quarters of the way full with water. Add the water to the paint in the mixing container. Thoroughly mix the red paint and water. To mix blue line paint, follow the same steps outlined for red. But instead of adding three quarters of a can of water, you will add half a can of water. Now, you're about to see just how easy your Jet Ice paint stick is to use. After mixing, Pour your paint into the Jet Ice Paint Stick Carboy. Once filled, tighten the carboy cap securely. Next, attach the applicator to the Paint Stick wand. Place your Paint Stick Carboy into the Paint Stick Dispenser Pouch and connect the hose and wand. Finally, place the Paint Stick Pouch on your shoulder, which will allow you to comfortably apply the paint onto the ice surface. You're ready to go. When you're ready to apply paint, Loosen the cap on the dispenser container and open the valve slightly to allow the paint to flow. By simply adjusting the valve, you are easily able to control the amount of paint flowing through the wand to the ice surface. This process is the same whether painting circles or lines. Until fully proficient at controlling the paint flow and stick, we suggest you start with the blue line application, which provides plenty of space for trials and adjustment. It's that easy. Let's take a look at how effortless it is to use the paint stick when painting a circle. First, determine the anchor point in the center of the circle, based on prescribed measurements. Attach one end of the guideline to the base of the paint stick and the other end to the anchor. Extend the line as far as it will go. You're now ready to apply the paint to the ice surface. Moving the wand back and forth will prime the paint to flow from the container to the end of the wand. Once the paint starts to flow, begin walking in a circle, allowing the line attached to the anchor and the wand to guide your pattern. Don't forget, you're able to control the flow of paint by adjusting the valve. And always keep sufficient tension on the cable line. Approximately five feet before finishing the circle, gently turn off the valve to stop the flow of paint. When the circle is complete, place the end of the paint stick in the supplied base for later use. And you're done. The Jet Ice Paint Stick is just as easy to use for painting lines. To paint lines, mark the area to be painted with wool lines extended across the ice surface. Lightly spray water on the wool lines to freeze them in place temporarily. You will employ the same easy process when painting designs created by templates. Once the ice is marked according to the templates, simply repeat the process of priming the paint through the Paint Stick wand and controlling the flow of paint by adjusting the valve. Ice painting has never been this easy, thanks to the Jet Ice Paint Stick.